what is up guys um, it's been a little bit since we had any videos on the channel um, first of all happy new year to you guys hope all you guys had a very safe and productive Christmas season um, just for that whip out another quick video for you um, this one we're gonna cover um, creating a VE, t a VE table for your Speedway No project um, from scratch um, this usually gets asked a lot in the from are there any base maps can I have a base map for my car um, I don't particularly believe in base map I usually try to create my own uh, you can never trust someone's base map you find on the internet um, the way I show you is usually gonna start off pretty rich um, but rich is generally safe within reason and then from there you usually just trim out your fuel and then you move on to having fun with the car um, it's a very simple process usually takes about five minutes to create the VE table um, depending on how quick you are with the tuning usually about an hour or two you should have a map that's ironed out for the most part um, hope you guys okay, enjoyed so the video so we have the Speedrino sorry the tuner studio software open and what you're going to need to do is you go on the tuning VE table and then you'll likely end up with something like this in my case I have already scaled my X and my Y axis on the X axis down here what you basically do you double click and then you set it to whatever you need it your sorry whatever you want your RPMs to do what you would likely do is you see there I have my RPM starting at 500 and went as high as 7500. I rev my car, my red line is set to about 6800, so I like to have a cell or two after that. And I usually idle about 800, so I like to have a cell below that. Um, over here, we have 20 kPa all the way up to 240 kPa. 240 kPa is somewhere around 21 psi of boost. Uh, my car is turbocharged and 20 kPa is just about the max vacuum I would see when my car is in deceleration mode or whatnot. Um, if you NA, what I recommend you do is you start maybe about here, somewhere around 10, you have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, etc, etc, all the way up to like 100 which is what you would see if you're naturally aspirated if you turbo you can scale it to however you want I have my you okay I'm going to be the head of myself boost generally starts depending on your and where you are in the world boost generally starts about 96 to 100 kpa so somewhere around here anything above here would be boost so you can depend on your application if it's a drag racing application you'd obviously want to have more boost columns um, if it's just a street car you'd likely have more vacuum columns because that's where you spend most of your time anyways the scaling when you do it a couple times you'll figure out what works for you okay moving along um what i usually recommend is here multiply VE by map barrel right, ratio sorry I said that to no and we basically create a wedge what a wedge usually is is in my case you start here and I would enter one figure here up there in the 30 I'd enter something slightly higher columns are rows I can never differentiate between columns and rows you see yeah anyways 40 something higher and you basically when you look at it in 3d mode here it would be something shaped like a wedge i'll go ahead and do this and then i'll pick up in a little bit okay picking up um this is essentially what i'm referring to as a wedge um so i started with 20 and then increased it to 30 40 50 um this is not because i have 20 30 40 in the load section this is just a random number i chose um, could have been increased by 
15, 12, doesn't matter. I just chose to increase it by 10 in the VE table. So we go all the way up to 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, etc. etc. Um, this will likely be very rich to start off with, but it's usually advisable to start off on the rich side than on the lean side, like I always preach. So what you do when you start up, start up the car, um, it will likely start up somewhere here, then quickly drop to here when it's idling, and then you go ahead to tune in your idle fuel. This table was created of course after everything has been set you still have to set your re required fuel your calibrate your sensor your tps and whatnot and when i say wedge this is what i'm referring to the vegetable looks like a wedge if you remember a few moments ago it was flat by the time you're done your ve table will end up looking like your top curve so if you take your car to a dyno your torque curve will likely be something like this. Well, depending on how efficient your engine is, it may be sort of wedge shape dropping off in the top. If you have a really big turbo, it may not drop off in the top. But your fuel map usually follows your torque curve. Wherever your torque drops, usually your VE drops as well. So you will have the peak numbers, the highest numbers. Say my car was peaking, let's see, we were running. 200 kpa right here of pressure and then my talk was speaking around 4500 um, the 3d map or let me back up a bit what you'd find 180 kpa for instance if that was my max boost and then my peak talk was around 45 you'd have the bigger numbers somewhere around here in my fuel table doesn't matter if it's boosted or or any the fuel map always follows the the talk curve okay then that would be essentially how you go about creating a ve map from scratch if you don't want to go ahead and use what is in the speedino firmware after that you pretty much just go ahead and then just start trimming fuel like i showed in the last couple of videos i think yeah, you go ahead and start trimming fuel and then take it easy and then in no time you should have a pretty distant fuel map that you will be driving your car around boosting and having fun um, like always leave your comments down below like subscribe share with whoever you f you think may find this video interesting till the next one stay safe guys